I'm famous. I am. I didn't think I would be. I thought I, I, thought I was going to be an actor in the theater, New York, musician, a singer. That didn't happen. I got famous. And I thought over the years it would dissipate or uh, diminish somewhat. It only got bigger. I've become pop art. Pop art is the movement, um, art and cultural movement that began right at the time that I was born. I grew up surrounded by all of these new colors and visions and excitement that was just taking over the culture. It, it took over every arts and crafts project that we were making in first and second grade. You know, the Sisters of Mercy at my school, well, uh, the young nuns were teaching us all new ways of looking at colors and advertising and magazines, Vietnam, war and peace, the entire culture and advertising and art. And then, just as I began my professional career, I watched this thing that I had watched and grow and, and, and take over everything. I watched it completely eat me alive and turn me into a billion pixelized images flashing through satellites and on televisions and, and everywhere. The pop that I had watched and marveled at and celebrated chewed me up, spit me out, and turned me into a human representation of a Campbell's soup can. An object, a product. I'm an artist. I love making things that stand on their own. Paintings are like an instant play. You just have to listen a little harder. So my, I made all these heroically lit colorful toys from the 50s, the 60s, the 70s. They're all self-portraits. They're pop objects that evoke an immediate response. Oh, remember that? Look at that object from my past. Remember that? It's the 30th anniversary of Back to the Future, and reporters and networks and newspapers, people everywhere have been asking for my reaction. What do you think? What does it mean? Why is it such a classic? Why aren't there flying cars? You're a legendary icon. What's up with that? I don't have any idea what's up with that. I don't talk about it. I don't know what to say about it. I'm... I've responded to it in various ways over the years, and I've tried to do it in original, clever, fun ways. A song, a specific performance, a book. But I don't have much to say about it. And I didn't want to go around standing on an X and just waving at pop display events. Here he is. Look at him. That's the modern way to do it. Get in front of as many cameras as possible and just be asked inane questions and wave. Wave to the cameras while behind you, behind your back, there's one of those backdrops full of pop advertising logos designed to distract the people looking at you while they're looking at you. So you're just another pop bubble floating by. So I painted. With these paintings, I've gone to the beginning of pop, full circle, and I've made these paintings during the 30th anniversary of Back to the Future, in line with the history of pop from the beginning to now. It's an honest look at the legacy of pop in my life, the effect that it's had, a pop fugue. You know, fugue has two meanings. Um, a fugue is a musical phrase that repeats and repeats the original musical idea into a, a tapestry of bits and pieces of things you've already heard or seen. And, uh, and in psychology, a fugue means a sense of the loss of self-identity. It's a pop fugue. I think I'm qualified to comment on it in this way. Center it over like the blue eyes. See where the blue eyes are? Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Whoa! Now, how's it look? Mm. Looks good. Dad, that's awesome. That looks really good. Okay, well, oh, Dad, that's so good! <laughs> C 
see if it gets a little more dimension or something. Okay, so you got a big more, old shiner. One more ink. Yeah.